so I wasn't scared out my mind. You call them rhymes, I call it clearing out my mind. Was just a young boy staring out my blinds. Till I got free from my mama leash. Running loose through the streets like a straight dog in heat. And we looking for some freaks. Can you play? Pardon me. You too, what's going on? No Limit Shine here. Bring y'all another story. Y'all was fucking with the first one I did. That got like 20 plus likes. I appreciate the support and everything. You know, pushing a thousand subs, you know, on my way. I just made my channel three weeks ago. I guess that's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was kind of like, I don't know. I, I, I guess I got to just be patient with the YouTube shit, man. I'm not going to get 50,000 subscribers in, in a week or something. Like, you know, so I'm just being patient. You know what I'm saying? I, I listened. I watched. I looked at all the comments. And I had a lot of good points. So, you know, I'm definitely going to keep doing it. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. I, I should be doing that in the next two weeks, hopefully. Cause I got a lot of I got a lot of gameplay, a lot of shit coming out. Anyway, that's beside the point. I want to hear the story. Boom. Okay. So this is a story about when I fought a, a girl. Y'all probably think like, oh you a bitch, you fighting girls. Da, da, da. I'm gonna break it down. It was that I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna tell y'all what led up to it and just give y'all a background of what happened and shit. Okay, this is in sixth grade. This is 2006. I was in sixth grade, 12 years old. The girl was 14. I'm, and I'm break down why she was fucking 14 in, in, in the fucking sixth grade. All right, so our school, 15 school, it was like real like isolated from the other elementary schools. Like it wasn't no bad school. Like people don't even know. Like I'd be like, I went to 15 school. And they'd be like, the fuck? <laughs> they, they're like, they don't even know what this shit is. Like it was just so isolated from the other, like the city. Like it was almost like a, Private. It had like a private school like atmosphere, kind of like it wasn't no crazy fights. It wasn't no people people cursing out the teachers. It was like a good school. So our school had like some special program for like like foreign kids and stuff like that. Like that didn't know English, they can come to our school and they slowly teach them like you know English and you know what I'm saying. So like if you 10 years old, they want to put you in the, they want to put you in the fourth grade. They'll put you like in the second grade, but then like they'll try to balance it out. Like they don't want to overwhelm you. So whatever, so whatever you is like, so if you were 11 years old, they'll probably put you like in the third grade. They're not going to put you in the same grade because you got to learn English. You got to learn all the shit. If you're a foreign kid. Boom. So it was this girl, her name was like, I, I forgot what her name, what, what the fuck was her name? She was African. She was like African, and, and I was pretty tall for, for to be a sixth grader. I was like five seven, five six, and we were like the same height. And she was fourteen. You know what I'm saying? She was like two years older than me. Her name was Anna, I think. I think her name was Anna. I'm trying to think. Yeah, that was her name. And and I think her name was Anna, and like Anna or some whatever, whatever fuck her name was. Fuck her. But anyways, okay, so I'm gonna, let, like, I'm gonna tell y'all what happened before before we end up fighting and shit. All right, so we're, we're all on the lunch line. It's all of us, and I'm playing with my homeboy Adrian. Like we just we was just slap boxing, playing around, doing laughing, ha ha, giggling, giggling, pause. Well, just laughing, joking around, play fighting, you know, doing stupid shit that you know twelve year olds do. So. We playing in the line. He must have pushed me or bumped into me, and I fell into her. So I bumped into her. I bumped into her, and she like kind of pushed me. But I was laughing so hard that I didn't even really like realize it. Like that she was mad. I wasn't even paying attention to her. I just when she when she um when I bumped into her and she pushed me, I just said, "Oh my bad." You know what I'm saying? And that was that. So then she came so then after so I, so she pushed me the first time and i was just laughing so i just kind of like didn't even like it didn't phase me so then I'm, I, I'm i moved away from her a little bit i went and more towards the back of the line and she came and followed me and pushed me again so i'm thinking like i'm like okay you got it so so she pushed me the first time i just laughed it off then the second time she pushed me I'm like, all right, you got it. Like, the fuck? Like, are right, you getting a little too crazy? Like, I'm like, all right, you got it. I ain't curse at her. No, I ain't like curse at her, tell her to suck my dick or none of that shit. I just said, yo, you got it. The second time she pushed me. So then, so she moved away again and she got one of them lunch trays, like the plastic ones. It didn't have no food on it or nothing. So then she got the, the, uh, the fucking tray shit, the plastic tray and smacked it across my head. 
So, <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. She must have had a fucking, she must have been on her period. Or she must have just been having a bad day or some shit. All I, like, we was laughing and we was laughing in the line. I just slightly bumped into her. It wasn't like I made her drop something. I, I barely touched her. Like, I bumped into her a little bit. She pushed me the first time. I laughed at all. The second time, she pushed me again. And I was like, yo, chill. And then the next time, she grabs a fucking plastic tray and smacks it across my head. I'm like, what the fuck? So I, it was like some like water bottle, like a big ass fat, like a Gatorade bottle. Like no, it was like a big ass Gatorade bottle. You know the big shits. And it, and it had like a, a hole filled with water and a big glock of ice in it. So I grabbed that shit and I just poured it on her. I poured it on I just grabbed that shit. Whoosh, here, take that bitch. Just poured, poured this shit all over her. So she was like, she sat there for like about two seconds cause she was like shocked. She didn't know I was gonna do that shit. So after I poured it on her, whoosh, she was like, she, her eyes just opened up, and she and she was like, and then she just start going crazy. You know how girls be. She just start, she just start going crazy, and then like, so by by this time, by this time, when I shot the water at her, she had moved up in the lineup. I don't know where well, right, when I all right, when I when I shot the water at her, she was like almost about to get her food. I guess I don't even know how, cause I thought we was in the back. Anyways. So when I poured the water on her and shit like that, she just starts like she just starts chasing me. And somehow we 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 got back into the front of the line. And when she's trying to swing, I'm blocking them on some Floyd shit. Like I'm just blocking them shit. And then after a while, I think she caught me one time and I just lost it. I'm like, man, fuck that. She's 14. We the same height. She's two years older than me. I'm about to fight her. I dance. So, you know, the all the food and shit. Alright, so she's hit me and shit. And she's hitting me and said, I'm just weak. You know what I'm saying, go like this. And then all the food is behind me. So she's hitting me and said, hit me. And then she caught me one time. And then that's when I lost it. I grabbed the hair. I started this. I, I, I started swallowing. I, I, I turned her around, threw her on the hot dog shits. Start. I was like Kimbo in the backyard. I started wailing on her shit, boy. Like. <laughs> this shit was crazy because I'm not about to let her beat my ass. Hell nah. They would have been they would have been like, oh remember when she beat your ass? Hell nah, fuck that. So so she was swinging on me first. I'm in the back of the I'm behind the phone and shit going like this. I just snap, turn her around neck on the food, start spanking her. Mm, 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 mm. Spanking her. Boop, 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 boop. She just she just yeah. I'm seeing just get catching them. Doom, 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 doom. I'm just, I'm, I'm just wailing on this bitch. Like, she really got me tight though. Like, gave, I said my bad the first time. Then the second time, I said, yo, chill, you got it. Then she grabs a tray and smacks it across my head. Damn, you think I'm not gonna do nothing? Fuck out of here. I don't care if you're 14, a girl, you're not about to do all that shit. So you had it coming to you. I I, I welled on her. She hit me one good time though. Cause when I, I was weaving them, she wasn't hit me. I had my hands like that. And then one of them, she it connected. And after that, I just lost it. I started spanking her. I'm just swelling on her. So then a lunch lady grabbed me. Everybody like, oh man, Sean, chill, man, get off her. Yo, you yo. Yeah. <laughs> All that shit. So then they bring me to the office, and then I I I, I get in trouble sometimes. You know what I'm saying elementary school, you know. So they they thought of like they try to say like it was me like like they like and since she's a girl they think like oh you're not supposed to hit girls and all the teachers and stuff were on they on her side and after that like none of the teachers fuck with me no more after that like none of the teachers like they they really didn't like me anyways but after that shit happened they really didn't like me like they didn't fuck with me at all they didn't even care if she started or not. They, and then my and then our gyms our our our, our school ran a track meet like it was like a big city shit like all the all the uh, elementary school would run like in a track meet and they take the best people like the three best people from each from like fifth and sixth grade or like I think it was like five uh, no I think like the, I, they take like five or six people from the fifth and sixth grade from each elementary school and they run again like it's like a tra big ass track meet I was supposed to be in it <laughs> and, but I, and since I got to the fight. See, I couldn't do this shit, and it wasn't really, wasn't. I didn't really care about it like that much, cause I like to like basketball more than like the track and shit. But it was just like, and then my gym teacher was talking about some, oh, you you fucked up, you shouldn't have did that, you should have just 
um, when she started hitting you, you should have just got on the ground and balled up, or you should have just kept your hands up. You shouldn't have hit her. I'm like, nigga, she's 14 and she's the same height as me, and she's got she's got big ass hands too. I mean, she wasn't fat, but she was big. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to let her just kill me. Fuck out of here. Like, I don't give a fuck. I can see if she was like five two, skinny as fuck, and then I probably would have just, you know what I'm saying, grabbed her or some shit like that. Bitch, she fucking big as a bitch. I'm like 5'7", and she's the same height as me. What the fuck? And she's 14. She's not even supposed to be in the sixth grade. She started, I mean, I, I, I bumped into her. I apologized. And she still kept pressing the issue. She was mad about something else that day. It wasn't just me. She must have been on a period. Whatever the fuck it was. But that shit was crazy. <laughs> that shit, man. I, I, I'm telling you. She, she won't never forget that. I, I beat her ass. I was going, fuck. Fuck that, but... That's a little quick. St oh, yeah, I got suspended five days for that shit. She, she was supposed to get five days, too, because we both fought. But the teachers end up, like, after, like, two days, one of the teachers picked her up from her house and brought her back to school and some shit on some, oh, it's okay. He's a guy. He wasn't supposed to put his hands on you. It doesn't matter. Even if you started the fight, he shouldn't be touching you. Like, fuck that. Fuck all them teachers. Fuck them all. Fuck y'all. Y'all watching this, fuck y'all. Fuck all them teachers at 15 school. Fuck them. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. It's a few people I like. It's a few teachers I like that at 15 school, but most of them I didn't. Fuck them. They did some funny shit. That was some BS and shit. Like trying to take sides for her and shit. But she was, was she attacked me. The fuck? I poured the water on her because she disrespected me and smacked the fucking tray on my head. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Just sit there like a doofus? Hell nah, I'm defending myself. Fuck out of here. So that was just a little qu quick story. I got five days uh, out, um, out school suspension. Mom didn't really care about it. After I told her what happened, she had like a day or two. They brought her back to school. I came back. The teachers just didn't want to fuck with me no more. And that pretty much was it. You know what I'm saying? Crazy story. Got to a little fight and shit. Like for more stories, no limit shine them out. I tell you, I think this quality is better than my last webcam quality. Yeah, it's looking better. All that. Keep subscribing. Roll to 1K. No limit shine. I'm out. Let's get it.